Let's try graphing another inequality, this time in vertex form. Notice it's in a different form now, it's not in standard form. So the nice thing that I get from this form of a quadratic equation is the vertex. My vertex is going to be negative 4, positive 3. Awesome. I already start out with some good information. So there's my vertex up there. Now I need some more points. So I can set up a t-chart. Here's my vertex. Now let's go to the right or to the left a couple. So if I go to the right, think about that for a sec. If I'm going to the right of negative 4, that would be negative 3 and negative 2. When I plug those in, I'm going to end up getting 2 and the negative 1. Awesome. Awesome. So let's plot those. Negative 3, positive 2, negative 2, neg negative 1. And if only, once again, there was a way to figure out the other two points. Well, if I graph in my awesome axis of symmetry, I can reflect those points over. There's one, and there's another. Now I need to connect those dots, but wait! Don't connect them yet. we got to figure out what kind of line to use, solid or dashed. Again, going back to this, since it's equal to, it's going to be solid. Now I need to figure out where to shade. Again, I can test the point 0, 0 right here because it's not on the graph. If it were on the graph, you can't use 0, 0, but I can. And if 0, 0 does work, I'm going to shade all out here. So if it satisfies the inequality, gives us a true inequality statement, I would shade all out here. If it's not true, I'm going to shade in here. So let's do it. I'd have 0 is less than or equal to negative 0 plus 4 squared plus 3. So 4 squared is 16. So And then make that negative. So negative 16 plus 3. So negative 13. Is that is 0 less than or equal to negative 13? No, that's not true. So I'm going to be shading inside. Because 0, 0 did not work, I'll be shading what we would say is inside the parabola. And now I'm done.